Ah, yes. Remember actually using this old thing? If you do, chances are your back probably hurts from simple things like sleeping wrong or just existing. What is going on, guys? I am AJ, and today we're going to be taking a look back at five examples of PC hardware that have been phased out either partially or completely. So stick around and let's discuss this. Number one, sound cards. Long gone are the days where you needed one of these bad boys to listen to classics like this. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. Nowadays, modern PCs have integrated sound chips which provide decent quality sound. That being said, dedicated sound cards are actually still a thing but are now geared towards specialty usage like high quality audio recording. Or if you just want to be an audio snob. Number two, internal modems. Before technologies like broadband internet, we had. And in order to use a good old dial up connection, you needed to connect your phone line to an internal modem that came in the form of an expansion card like this. Thankfully, the Ethernet port of today has replaced the need for this add-on, while relegating the modem to an external device. Number 3. Optical Media Drives After the compact disc dethroned the floppy to become the king of optical storage media, CD-ROM drives were always an integral PC component. You couldn't install any important software without it. But as with everything else on this list, time brings inevitable change. The increasing availability of higher bandwidth interweb connectivity brought us into the digital age where digital downloads and streaming are ever so prevalent. On the mobile side, laptops have mostly phased out optical drives in order to make them thinner and lighter. On the desktop side of things, specifically the custom PC building side, most PC cases don't even factor in a spot for an optical drive. Now of course, you still have the option of getting an internal drive and a compatible case if it suits you. Or, if you want to keep aesthetics in mind but still have the option of using your optical media, an external drive is a good choice. Number 4. The Dedicated CD Burner Now, while I could have lumped this in with optical media drives in general, I decided to give this one its own section as, at one point in time, the CD-ROM and the CD-Writer or Burner were not one and the same. If you wanted to copy a CD, you needed a separate drive capable of writing in addition to your already established CD-ROM drive, along with dedicated software. But hey, back in the 90s, early 2000s, if you were one of the few kids with access to this, you were the cool kid. Well, I still wasn't, but we won't talk about that. Thankfully, the functionality of both read and write capabilities were eventually integrated into one. Number 5. The Game Port During its high time during the 80s and 90s, the Game Port was the quintessential way of connecting a joystick to your PC. This 15-pin connector was initially accessible via an expansion card. As time progressed, the port will be integrated into various sound cards and, eventually, most PC motherboards until it was essentially phased out in favor of the all-popular USB port. Feel free to leave me examples of any phased out PC hardware not mentioned on this list in the comments, and if you want more PC-related content in general, mosey on over to this video right here.